Hello, my name is Heather Racine. Um, I've been working with Dynamics 365 for the past 19 years, uh, for the last 15 years in the field service environment. Um, we're going to give you a little overview of the highlights and parts of the field service scheduling calendar that allows your technicians to quickly schedule and see real time how the technicians on site are working throughout the day. So here we have the scheduling board that is laid out where you can have it in different modes. So what we basically for the general layout is you can have one or multiple calendars. So if you have lots of teams that are maybe broke uh, different divisions, or if you have a Southwest, Northwest, Northeast, you can break out and have separate calendars for people to manage your service techs within the field. All of the bookings will be in different color coded so you know where they are at every given moment in time. So, for example, we can see one of ours is actually driving and they're driving to their next destination. We can have people when they're on site or if they're scheduled to actually go to work. From within the calendar, you don't need to change the view. You can actually see any unscheduled work orders that allows the manager to drag and drop and schedule any of the unscheduled immediately just within the calendar. There's no need to open and uh, it'll update the record all for yourself so you can be faster. Now you have a couple of different views that you can do with the calendar. This is your general view that has just the color coded of items, but you can also enable the quick map so you can actually look at the map where you can actually see where your drivers and where all the locations are within um, the current uh, bookings that are being worked on for that day or any future bookings that are scheduled you can actually see that within a map view the map can be into two different you can do this where you can see things by a weekly daily even hourly or even monthly, so you can break it out depending on the views and the scheduling that you're doing so that you can see what's going on for the day, but then you can sit there and schedule any of your unscheduled for the weekly and the month views to drag and drop easily without having to leave the calendar view. Within the scheduling board, each board can have its own settings. So within this, you can actually tailor it to where you can have who can see the board. So if it's not shared with anyone, you can share it with just a specific team. So if you do break out your field service into different venues where you have the north, the west, south, and east, you can break those out and they can just see their view of that and not be cluttered with any of the other information in the system. You can tailor your map and you can decide here's all the different settings that you can do the views if you um, what's supposed to be active you can also change the color of the tile so you can do branding that meets your organizational needs it can all be uh, you can have the scheduling assistant this is going to be able to kind of use the ai capabilities and it's going to help you schedule your un your unscheduled work orders uh, more quickly and quicker um, and fast to get people up on the board. And here you can change the colors as well, um, have default icons. You can even have a specific icon that's branding of your organization so that you can see that through the map board as well. Right here, you're gonna see kind of the default colors, but it'll allow you to change these for anything so that you can see when something's fully booked, if something has not been booked at all, um, if someone's working non hours, you can differentiate between your working and non hours very easily by just looking at the color coding instead of having to open up or read the details for each booking that's set on the calendar. If somebody gets overbooked, you can have a color like red or orange, something that really identifies that someone's been overbooked and that you might need to reallocate some of your resources so you can quickly get those rescheduled and make sure that none of your customers are waiting for field service field service tax to come. Um, here's just some general items so you can actually have how many you want per page to come so that way you don't have to keep scrolling or use the bookmarks to go by page by page if you have a large volume of bookings and work orders that you're viewing on the scheduling board.
This will allow you to also do filters. So if you have 50 texts that you wrote, but you want to resource ones that are only in a specific organizational unit or ones that have certain resource types, this gives you the flexibility to narrow down the individuals that are available so that you can make sure you're getting the, the best resource for the job at hand and you're scheduling it most efficiently. This will give you two different views. This is what they consider the, the Gantt view. You also can do what's considered a list view. So what this does is it goes by person. So if I were to open this up, then you're just gonna see list of records. So this, depending on the individuals, you can actually tailor the look. So some people like to kind of look at this more Excel kind of view where they can see everything versus the Gantt view is a more visual with the color coding and the live reactions. And so as your service techs are actually on site and they're updating this booking, these bookings are going to change um, depending on the next status. So if they've completed it, if they've had to schedule another on site visit, if they um, need to go back to go get a part or need to order a part, you're going to get that live time reaction of information um, as they're updating the booking when they're on site doing the field service items. As you can see here, is we've actually tailored multiple calendars. So basically, we can have each calendar and we can filter only specific service texts that can get through. Um, so that way, you're just seeing a bird's eye view of what you deal with and you're managing to make you the most efficient when you're scheduling any of your work orders and bookings. So here's kind of the daily view. When people have multiple items in the daily view, you can actually expand it and then it's going to show their whole day of all of the items that are there. And you'll notice as we schedule them, we can click on the different links and what will happen is it'll bring up all the booking details of the information right within the calendar view. So there's no need to re-navigate and open up the work order. You can get all the information that is needed right within this view. So you can actually have a legend. So as people are coming, they will know what all the color coders are. So if you have out of office, tentative, people are canceled. If they've arrived, if they're driving on a break, you can show all of that information in real time in the scheduling. So here is the nice little overview of what is available with the scheduling board. Um, kind of some tips and tricks of looking at all of these pieces that we've talked about and how it can make your managers and your scheduler resources um, the most efficient when utilizing the field service app.